Good day everyone, I am Ropani Chin Maglino, one of the reporters from the group 8. My assigned topic from the topic 3 is all about the Pentic Zoom. So, it is a mountains, trenches, flat, muddy, sandy, and rocky environments can be all found in the Pentic. Low temperatures and little oxygen are features of the Pentic Zoom. So the pentake of the ocean is varied. So there are not many plants. The term bentos refers to the animals that inhabit the pentake. In addition to, to living in the mud, some species also swim, crawl or anchor to the ocean floor. So there is a wide variety of life that makes its home on the ocean floor and also compose of moving salt water. So the benthic area, which includes the sediment, surf sediment surface and certain subsurface layers, is the biological zone at the lowest level of the body of water, such as an ocean or a lake. So it comprises the layer of water in the water body which is present just above its bottom thus it does it includes the water column in contact with the ocean floor reverb or the bottom of the lake so the benthic organisms are those that live in this region they often coexist closely with the substrate bottom so many of these species are anchored there permanently so that inhabit thus in the ocean the benthic zone is often present so far below the surface that sunlight that the sunlight isn't able to penetrate the large column of water above of a water above and reach it because because of these organisms capable of photosynthesis are not 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 found there next we have the substrate is composed of four types of sediment we have first is the biogenous or organic so it, it is a greater than 30% 30% organic materials the oldest it is a soft deposit on the bottom of a body of water so it so this biogenous is contain skeletal and fecal remains next we have the terogenous or lithogenous lithogenous it is a greater than 30 percent in organic products of withering seven volcanic ash next we have the hydrogenous or autogen autogenic it it is a minerals precipitated from chemical compounds and seawater and the next one is the cosmogenous it is materials that fall from space We have the characteristics of the benthic zone. It is a 90% of organisms on continental shelf and 10% in the abyss. So, in the mesopelag mesopelagic zone, 99% of the organisms are bioluminescent. So, it is produced light by chemical reactions. Also, it is a very stable environment, increases with depth. And lack of light is a major limiting factor so it have the reducing food predation and mating so as you can see in the image as the resources become scarce new riches are developed increasing increasing diversity so <clears throat> the icy salty waters of the poles provide oxygen so in the biomass declines with depth the lack of food is directly related to the slow pop 
population density. So in the communities made up all made up only of scavengers and consumers. So in the Midwater Mesopelagic Zone, so uh, as I've said lately, the Mesopelagic Mesopelagic Zone, it decomposers like bacteria are more prevalent. So only protic zones contains producers. Next, we have the hydrothermal vents and cold sips. So, since the benthic hydrothermal vents, which release hot water that turns into depressed, depressed current, currents, cannot receive sunlight. So, because they are home to crabs, fish, shrimp, tube, tube worms, and enormous clams, hydrothermal vents are also significant. So, in methane and and hydrogen sulfate are released into the ocean through cold seeps. So this area is home to clams, mussels, shrimp, crabs, bacteria, and tube worms that eat archaebacteria, a single-celled organism. So as you can see here in the image, the chemosynthetic bacteria, bacteria near hydrothermal vents are, are the outliers among benthic community producers. So, so the scientists first found distinctive hydrothermal vents ecosystems in 1977. So, so for the examples, I have the uh, we have the green algae and red algae in the benthic zone. So, it able to float place, place to place, place to place. So, also the seagrass able to tolerate the salt, the salt, to, tolerate the salt water and has strong, strong roots to, to withstand in the tide. <clears throat> so in a process known as chemosynthesis, bacteria that live close to the vent construct organic compounds from hydrogen sulfate that has been dissolved in salt water. So in all oceans, vent colonies can be found between 1 and 2 miles underground. <clears throat> It is animals gathered close to the vents can reach a normal size and can survive temperature variation between 36% and 662% Fahrenheit. So a lot of the community suspension feeders are also attached to the hard rock bottom, which is where for the deep sea. So in the biosphere, perishes after 100 years if the source of hydrogen sulfate is exhausted. So, cold seeps are fluids that seep into the ocean floor and contains methane and sulfur, which, which symbiotic bacteria use to oxidize sulfur in order to survive. So, in the million of benthic worms, crabs, and Molochs live in cold sips. Next, we have we have this the deep sea creatures, or or so called the bentos of the benthic zone. So these are some deep sea creature. Some of these animals live on the sea floor bottom. So animals of the benthic zone, and we have we have their adaptations. So as you can see here in the image, we have the different types of bentos in the sea floor. <coughs> the the ad adaptation of bentos, first we have the suspension feeding. So 
filter food suspended in the water column. So sandy and coarse sediments where current contain large quantities of food and is stable or don't clog feeding. So the corals living below the light. Second, we have the deposit feeding. So eat food particles lying in sediment or dominance and muddy fine sediments. And the third one is scavengers or the croppers. It quickly locate dead animals falling from above or go for go for long periods without food. It will eat deposit feeders. So the other adaptations includes special respiratory and feeding appendage that keep animals above the sediment to prevent to prevent clogging or something in the substrate so in this expandable mouth and bodies to accommodate large but infrequent infrequent meals so we have this light so as you can see that in the image it has a lights and lures to attract prey prey met prey or mats or frightened predators so so they are the blind creatures of course where sight is of no advantage next you have the reproductive strategies first we have the dispersal of planktonic larvae it is a common only on the shelf so an advantage nan ini is a chance for larvae to land on the best substrate and disadvantage sab niya is a heavy pressure so number two is the direct develop development or the broading it is internal fertilization is common in cold deep water where it, where food is scarce so this advantage is the protection of an adult but an disadvantage is adult is eaten all the offspring are lost and we have the access for production this is a body so the the advan advantage of this is solves the problem of finding a meat and disadvantage of this is a lax and adaptability provided by variety in a gene pool. So in the 1977 dive, during the 1977, dive scientists discovered the first deep sea hydrothermal vents, which help explain the ocean salinity and how earth ventilates internal internal heat. So in locate so located around the hydrothermal vents is a lush and rich community of exotic life consisting of tube worms large clams and white crabs and other different exotic species so these organisms inhabit around the hydrothermal vents because the hydrothermal vents is full warm and mineral rich fluids which lets the organisms use a pro process called chemosynthesis that allows them to get their food from the vets so smaller organisms feed on the bacteria and the water while the bigger organisms feed on the smaller organisms that feed on the bacteria and for the last one we have the interesting facts so the pentos and the pentic are Greek terms for the pentic zone so it means a teeth of the sea as you go farther and farther into the ocean, temperature drops and the pressure increases, which makes the pentic zone a limiting factor to live in. So human wouldn't be able to survive because the pressure is so great. So which is why the pentic has not been greatly explored. So the mollusks, crustaceans, bivalves, sponges, echinoderms, flatfish, owls, and even some species species of sharks or we should say the pentos of the ocean are all found in the benthic zone so the benthic zone begins at the shoreline and goes all the way to the seafloor that's all i have this is anajin in morocco thank you for listening